So static versus dynamic website is very basic but very important concept for you to understand if you're learning web development. And today I'm going to clear all your concepts and what is static website and what is dynamic website, which one is best for you and how does they work. So I've created two very simple projects. You can see this static website and this dynamic website. And if I open this static website in my web browser, you can see this is the simple website I created for this tutorial. We got this links here, home page. Then you can see this about page. If I click on contact page, this contact page. And the good thing about static website, you do not need a server to run this website. You can just create a HTML file on a laptop and you can open a web browser. And here you can see whenever I change the page, the content is changing. And if I go to home, you can see this say this home page. If I show you the source code of the home page, you can see this is completely written in HTML. And everything on this page is fixed. It cannot be changed dynamically. If you don't understand how dynamic changing works, I'm gonna explain you a little bit later in this video. Just keep in mind this HTML code for home page. If we see about page, everything is same, just I've changed this line here. This is about page. If I see contact, and you can see the contact page text is changed here. So basically they're all three same contents, but I need to create three pages to run this static website. If I show you the files which are required to create the static website, you can see we have this about HTML, contact.html and index.html, which is also called home page. And then you can have CSS website and JavaScript code. But what happens if you want to create so many pages? For example, if you want to create a profile of a user, for example, I create this code for profile of a user. If I open this in Firefox, you can see some menu links and then hello and name of user. In my case, I've written Abhishek and you have 40 points in your account. If I show you the source code, you can see the source code for profile page. So here I have hard coded Abhishek and then it says you have 40 points. And what happens? This is for one user. For example, if you want to create thousands of users, so you need to create thousand pages for every user on your website, which is not really logical and reasonable. So in that case, the dynamic website comes. For example, in dynamic website, I just want to create one page. For example, I create a profile.php page. Then instead of giving the name here, which is hard coded for every user, I can just write code in any programming language you choose. And then dynamically, the name of the user will be displayed here. Same thing for points. If I add the code to show the point, the points will be shown here. And this is just an example. This is not a programming language. Just to make you understand that code for displaying the point of user. On static website, I need to create thousands of pages for every user. For example, profile one, profile two, profile three, up to 10,000 users. How many users have in your website? But in case of dynamic website, if I show how dynamic website is created, you can see I have this one page profile.php and I already shown you the code. So I create just one page and it can display profile for thousands of users. So I understand you got the basic concept what is the difference between static website, dynamic website. Let's try to understand with some graphics. I'm sure it's going to be really interesting for you guys. Okay, so to understand this, you can see here, there's a user when he open a website in browser, a request goes to server. And all the pages which I already shown you, like index.html, about.html, and all the page of profile users, they are already existing on the server and they directly serve back to the user. There's no dynamic changing happening. The page are served as they are created. And now let's see the example of dynamic website. When somebody open a website in the browser, the request goes to server and then there are a lot of process with the programming language which create dynamic content. For example, for profile page, when request goes here, somebody open the website, they logged in into the account. All the code process the data, profile picture of the user, the points of the user, the different posts of the user, they fetch from database and this programming create a HTML page which is served back to the user. So all the changes are happening here on a dynamic website. Where on the static website, there are no changes, the file are served as it is. Let's compare some key features between static and dynamic website. So static website are created using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In dynamic website, you also need HTML, CSS and JavaScript, but it requires a server side technology such as PHP, Ruby, Python or JavaScript framework like Node.js. And plus, sometimes it can require a database, sometimes it cannot require a database. So in static website, you cannot have any server side technology, but on static website, sometimes you can change the content but that is not very dynamically. You can use JavaScript to change some kind of like display on the page, but nothing happens on the server. Second is content. So static website content fixed and remains same until manually updated. So every time I want to change something on the static website, I need to open the HTML file and change content manually. When dynamic website content is generated dynamically based on user requests or database interaction. For example, somebody logged inside the website, you can see the customized content for that user. With said customization, let's see the third point, customization and interactivity. So in static website is limited in terms of customization and interactivity. 
where Dynamic website have greater customization and interactivity, they can handle user input, process forms, and display personalized content. For example, in static website, you cannot add like a lot of different features. For example, a shopping cart to display user's profile info or to generate any kind of different data based on user profile, which is personalized and vary from user to user. And one last thing which a lot of people speak about, which is performance. So static website loads faster because the content is pre-built, the HTML files, and they serve directly to user browser. When dynamic website, there's slightly slower load times and they need to generate content dynamically before sending to user. But I don't completely agree with it because nowadays, if you have a simple website you create dynamically, for example, WordPress or Zoomla or any other framework, if it's a simple website, they're also really, really fast. And the difference is like almost negligible between static website and dynamic website. When the dynamic website is really simple. If you have completed a dynamic website, of course, this is going to take a lot of time to load in comparison to a static website. So I created some points on base of that you can choose which website you should create. So static website are simple to create, dynamic website are complex to create. Static website performance is really really fast and dynamic website a little bit slower but you can even make them faster if you know how to optimize a website. I create so many videos on my channel how to optimize the website. If you are creating dynamic website you can watch those videos and make your website faster almost like a static website. Static website are easy for security because you do not have so many things happening there. So it's just HTML pages, it is really hard to hack and they're more secure. Where dynamic websites are more complex to secure, you can have SQL injection in database, you can have some modification of the codes by your server side language. Sometimes they're complex to secure and high security required to maintain the dynamic website. Static website is cost effective and dynamic website can be high cost because static website you can just create HTML and just upload them to server and you're ready to go. With dynamic website, you need to install some software like WordPress, Zoomla, anything, which can take more time and that end up in having high cost. And the last comparison is like static website and limited interactivity, where dynamic website, high interactivity. It is very hard to do content update in the HTML website and in dynamic website, it is really to update content. For example, if you use a WordPress website, which is a CMS website, you can just log in inside and change any content on the pages. Where if you're not a techie, and you own a static website, you need to add the HTML code to update the content on the website. And then we have scalability. It is very limited in static website, but in dynamic website, scalability is very easy. So now the final conclusion, what you should create? Static website or dynamic website? Okay, if you want to learn the basics of web development, I highly suggest you to start with a static website because when you're gonna code HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you're gonna learn a lot of things. And once you're advanced, you can go dynamic website. You can use like dynamic framework like Node.js, or React or PHP or any other program language or also you can use CMSs too like WordPress, Zoomla, Drupal which are like CMS. So if you are a beginner, you want to learn web development, choose static website. If you want just work done, have a website easily, choose a dynamic website. There are a lot of options dynamic websites and don't worry too much about speed because most of the time if you have simple website, the speed is almost very similar. It is like almost negligible for a human to understand like how fast or how slow the website is. So I recommend everybody if you want to learn, choose static website. If you want to more advanced, if you want to scale your business, choose a dying website. It's going to be much better for you in the future. I hope you like the video. If you want to support a small creator like me on YouTube, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe in totally free. I will really appreciate that. If you want to know how WordPress works, check out this video on screen. And if you want to know the basics of HTML CSS website, check out this other video on screen.